put your electrical safety knowledge to the test. If not, then this next segment is for you. Karen is back and she's here to help us raise our electrical IQ. There's so much we need to know. <laughs> there is. And we know that you shouldn't be playing around with your electrical, so, um, but I think people might need a bit of a reminder about exactly. all the things we need to keep in well, mind. Well, and you know, sometimes we just take things for granted or it was always the way our parents did it. So yes. it's just good to kind of have a refresher. And you know what? We always have so much fun on City Line. Yeah. So we're gonna have a ton of fun today. We're actually gonna play a game Let's so that we can, yeah, so we can learn. But okay. on a more serious note, there are a lot of injuries that happen over the course of a year, electrical safety injuries, and they often happen to children. Ooh. So that's one of the reasons we want to talk about this today, because the physical symptom symptoms can range from numbness yes. to memory loss. Ooh. Psychological symptoms can be anxiety, insomnia, or even reliving the event. Okay. So that's the reason, because it's a heavy topic. We're not some fun, though, yes. because you know what? I bet you this audience, they look smart. I bet you they're going to do really well today. Oh my god, they're so smart. Look at them. Look viewers at them. are like the smartest. smartest. So it's time for our <laughs> electrical <laughs> safety quiz. <laughs> All right, so these are true and false. Everybody's got their paddle. Tracy's gonna play. And oh, if you're yeah. at home, you can you. play along. Yep. All right, true I'm or fine. false. If you have a cord at home, it might be an extension cord or a cord on a lamp and it's starting to show a little wear. Yeah. It's still safe to use as long as you can't see the wires. True or false? I'm saying false too, and I hear some false oh my gosh. out there. Let's That's a lot of false. See what the answer is. Yeah! Oh. Obviously, if you start seeing some wear and tear, just throw out that, uh, that extension cord or replace yes. it on the appliance. You know, and if you start to see a little bit of wire, can you see this extension cord here? Keep holding that out so, first and we'll show you because so you a can lot see, of us have that like, at home. You know, like often people are like, oh, let's throw a little electrical tape around there. It'll be fun, honey. Yeah. It's like, no. Get no. rid of it. It's just not worth it. It's not worth yeah. it. Okay. Let's do question number, number two. two. True or false? All right. That was really good. Very good. True or false? In most areas of your home, you're not allowed to have a receptacle near a sink. So it can't be within five feet or one and a half meters of a sink. Is this true or false? I'm gonna say this is true because it sounds like the right thing to do. <laughs> Oh, and we have a mixture in the audience. Most people are saying true, but a few falses. Let's see what the answer is. The answer is... Oh! I was wrong. Well, you know what? That was a tricky one. That was a because, tricky one. Because you're not supposed to have a regular receptacle near a sink or water. Okay. You're supposed to have a GFCI. So this is a special outlet that has a little trip on it. So it's a ground fault interrupter. So if anything happens, for example, water gets near that outlet, yes. it'll automatically shut the power down. That's right. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. See so these two little buttons in the middle? Mm -hmm. So if it trips, you can reset it. Got it. So these are fantastic. You use them outside, use them in moist areas. Yes. So you can go home and make sure that around your sink you yeah. have these so that you're safe too. Perfect. All right. Okay, next That question. was a tricky one. That okay. was a good one. Yeah. True or false? Yeah. Extension cords are safe to use throughout the entire home so long as you only plug one in per outlet. Hmm? True, true or false. false, guys? I'm still thinking. Oh, people are thinking you in the go audience. First. Oh. I'm going to say true as well. I'm going to be like you. I really don't know the answer. <laughs> Let's look at the answer, everyone. The answer is. Oh! oh wrong again. I know. Okay, so that was a tricky School one bus. as well. Okay. That was a tricky one because we don't want to overload a receptacle. You don't have multiple, you know, service detectors and outlet. Yeah. You know, you don't want to. That's a bad thing. Right. But one of the main reasons we don't want to plug in an uh, electrical cord, uh, sorry, an extension cord. An extension cord. Is because people could trip over it. So oh. like imagine you had it running from a, a wall oh. to a table lamp or something, yes. and that's a pathway. People could trip and fall. That's so true. just be that's really so smart true. about yeah. where you're putting your extension cords. Yes. You know, hide it behind a chair. Just don't have it someplace somebody could injure themselves. See, sometimes it's just the simple thing. <laughs> like, that's common sense, We overthought right? that one, didn't we? We overthought yeah, it. Okay. I know. Next question. Yeah. All right. True or false? Yes. If you have a cracked faceplate around a receptacle, yeah. you have to replace it by code in most areas. I'm going to say false because now I don't want to overthink it. Oh, we got some. <laughs> is that about 50 50 in the audience? A yeah. lot of trues, though. Yeah. Let's see what the actual answer is. The answer is. True! Yay! <laughs> you can imagine a cracked. 
a cracked receptor, a, a face plate will crack more and crack more and eventually might even fall off. Right. So it's better to replace it right away so we don't expose those wires. And a lot of people at home may have done a renovation and may not have gotten around to putting their face plates up. So go home and put That's your face true. plates up. Because that means everybody's yes. protected from those wires. That's the sort of thing that might stay that way for a decade if you don't get on it. It does. Put it, your face plate up. Yeah, put right? your face plate up. And it just looks better anyway. It so looks finish, so much finish better. that renovation. And you can get them that match actually your paint color, so that's really good. You can. You There's can. a lot of choices these days. What do you what else you got for us? All right. I'm not doing very well. No, you're actually doing all right. Okay, I think we're keep doing going. pretty well. So this is our last question. Yes. True or false? All extension cords are created equal, so don't spend extra money on an extension cord. I don't know. Oh, you oh, guys are all oh, saying false. I'm we got a lot of false. falses. I'm going with the audience. <laughs> smart. Let's see what the actual answer is. False! Yes. Yay! What a smart audience we have. They're very smart. So, so you know what? We have outdoor extension cords, which yes. are specifically made for wet areas. Yes. We have surge protectors. We have thicker gauge extension cords. If you're doing a lawnmower or a weed eater, it's, right. you know, you need to make sure you have the right extension cord for the appliance. Absolutely. Okay, and if just another note that we all need to think about, because when it comes to electrical, just don't take it in your own hands. Get the right, get the help you need. Yes. Hire a certified electrical contractor to do the work for you. And yes. then you know you're safe. And they also call them LECs, licensed the electrical, electrical contractors. contractors. And they will have like the list of people you should go to that are certified that can help you out because exactly. this is not stuff to play with. Now, more information on all of this great info that you gave us, Karen, on our website, that's cityline.tv.